Hey, Wanda. What, Dad? Wanda, you wanted some of this advice too? Oh, okay. Debbie? I see you out here uh, trying to, you know, act like you're very busy bathing and washing your hair. But I also think that you might be flirting a little. Okay, so here's the thing. I may have just watched Carl and Wanda to have a moment. And then I watched Debbie seek some attention and not get it because look what Carl's doing. See Carl? Carl is over there looking at shirtless Jake. Shirtless Jake is on his front porch building something. I don't know what. I hear a grinder or something going. Maybe that's a saw. I don't know what he's doing. But Carl is over there very, very interested in man things, right? And then you have Debbie. It's like, it's okay. I'm just washing my hair. I'm too busy for him anyway. But she's looking over at Carl. Like, is he paying attention? Like, how much more can I groom? How much more can I flaunt it and suck it in? <sighs> Debbie, you don't have to do any of those things. I've learned this in my old age that you don't have to, like, try to get noticed. They'll notice you when they're ready to notice you. But a man's brain does not work with more than one thing at a time. It's true. He is over there preoccupied by man things like oogling and awing over, I don't know, some sort of tool. And then, if that's not bad enough, he's hungry. He's worked up an appetite watching the tool. And his brain, Debbie, isn't going to work with more than just that one thing right now. It's eat. And when eat is done, I hate to tell you, it's probably nap because that's how their brains function. They only do one thing at a time. They don't think about the 90 million things that we think about. You know, that our roots are outgrown, that our nails need to be done, and that we need to shave our legs and wash our hair and put makeup on and put this dress on. <sighs> Debbie, I hate to tell you this, but women do those things to like compete with each other. I know you can keep trying to wash your hair and make those snow angel moves and hope that he sees you. He probably sees you. He just doesn't see you. It, I don't know. I don't get it. It's a man thing. Like I have tried to understand so many pieces of that, but they just like all of a sudden when they're having a moment of thinking about nothing because yeah believe it or not that's possible I don't know how it's possible either I can't think about nothing I don't even know what nothing feels like same way with being bored what is that that's a word that I, I don't even like relate to or associate with because I just what's bored and what's nothing yeah I, I know sweetheart I know but it's men it's <sighs> It's like, yeah, I know. I, you have to shake it off in the thought of it, too. I, I just do the same thing that you're doing. But what I'm saying is all this primping and prodding and extra work that you're putting into, like, trying to really get him to notice you, it's not really necessary. You can go do your own thing. You can wear the mom jeans if you want to wear the mom jeans. You can wear that party dress if you want to. You can shave your legs as much as you want. You can, you know, fluff your feathers, What, whatever makes you feel good is what you should do so if you feel best wearing your party dress sister you should wear that party dress but what I'm saying is that when a guy's gonna notice you they're gonna notice you because well <laughs> there was nothing filling that moment for them but if there's something filling that moment for them like I don't know what Carl's doing now oh wait oh wait it might be this moment no no he's looking out at the defense Wait a minute, wait a minute, it might be a nothing moment. It might be. Now the bad part is, Debbie, Wanda's kind of in your 
line of sight. Now, Wanda's, Wanda's chosen to be very moderate and not put on her potty dress today. In fact, I think that she might have chosen just a, you know, a, a simple, a simple, simple attire for the day. Like, she went jeans and t-shirt. I'm not sure what you're going to decide to put on for the day, but it's your competition that you think that you have is really in your head and it's really with the girls it's not it's it's not anything about men dad taught me that actually he did what hey wanda what dad wanda you wanted some of this advice too oh okay so what dad taught me was that men men don't really care if your tummy sticks out a little bit and men don't care if you put on that expensive dress or anything like that men men are really looking at only a few of your assets because that's how their brain works i know it's disheartening because your whole life you've been thinking like i want to look so good for so and so or i want to do this i'm just going to tell you right now ladies do it for yourself do not do it for any man or woman if that's your thing do it for you do it because you want to feel good. Because you like the way you look. Do not change yourself physically or the ways of your life or the, you know, the things that you do for anyone else on this earth. Do them for you. And do them because they're the right thing to do maybe. Maybe you're unhealthy, a little overweight and you, you know, you want to start getting more in shape or you want your heart to be healthy or maybe it's your mind that you want to be healthy. But it has to be because you want it, not because you want some man to notice you. Because I'll tell you what, it doesn't go the other way. At least not in my experience. Men have this different thing about their minds that they're only going to do what they want to do. And they're not out there... <laughs> <sighs> primping and prodding and all the things to get women to notice them. No, no, no. That's not how nature created it. At least not in my world. Maybe, maybe I'm old fashioned. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a thing of the future. Debbie, that's what you think it is. You just gave me a little, a little wing flip right there to say that, wait, are you blocking the view right now? Thank you. Thank you for making eye contact. That's super important in my generation as well. When we talk, we make eye contact and we we have a conversation like adults. Hey, look at me there, Wanda. Thank you. Thank you. But what I was saying is that, like, I don't see men wearing Spanx to suck in their tummies. I don't see men going to get their nails done. I mean, some guys do. Some guys don't go get manicures, and it's because it's important to them, not because they think that women are going to like that more, at least not in my experience. I, I want to reference this. This is my personal experience, okay? So my life advice here through this one is it doesn't matter how many times you wash your hair. It doesn't matter how many times that you do all those things. It's not going to increase the outcome <laughs> or change the outcome. A man's going to notice when a man's going to notice. And it's going to be on his time regardless because, I don't know, that's just how it works in the male brain. Yeah. It's okay to think about your tail feathers. It is. They definitely notice that at some point. But it's got to be because it's what you want to do. You can't do it for them. Okay? Yeah? Are y'all going to have this talk with Tina or do I need to go reiterate that with her? Yeah? Okay. Well, I hope that y'all gain something out of this. You don't need to wash your hair so much for a man. Is that the lesson? <laughs> How about the lesson is, oh, Wanda, don't be so mean to Debbie. That's what I'm talking about. Girls are mean to other girls. That's exactly what I'm saying. Don't do it for the other women, okay? Be kind to each other. This is not, this should not be a competition. It should be lifting each other up and supporting each other through all of this crap. Seriously. We should, should not, Wanda, quit being naughty. For real. Fighting over a man is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. 
and not worth it. You two need to learn how to support each other. I am going to go give Tina this talk because I'm not sure that Wanda understands. And Debbie, I'm not sure that you can convey it the right way. I, I'm not trying to reprimand you two about not being able to pass this along. But I am saying to you all that we will not be having a Mean Girls Club here. Okay? What we will be having is women supporting women and empowering each other. Lifting each other up. Straighten your crown, as some would say. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're on the same team. Okay, ladies? Don't wash your hair so much for the men. They don't care. They don't care. Look, where'd he even go? Oh. He's over here wondering why nobody's paying attention to him. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. You got the short stick today.